Hello and welcome to City Trekker. My name's Adam and I've got some packages that arrived in the last week, including one today, the Phoenix. I thought you might enjoy watching me unbox them. You like to watch, don't you? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna start with this one from Pioneer. This is a Kickstarter that I backed. This is the Passport Wallet in Onyx Black. There we go. Holds a passport, uh, four to eight cards, folded bills, tickets, and receipts. It's RFID blocking and a 10 year warranty. Breaks in, but never breaks down. We'll see. So I've got my wallet here. I've got extra pages in my wallet. And so they have a, a larger option for you if you do have the extra pages. And that's what I got. That is pretty snug in there has a lip over the side here maybe if I put more cards in here it won't do that but I don't, I don't like how that is not even on the sides here okay I like this material and it's nice and light let's open this one up from Bellroy I like how Bellroy puts their bags in bags. All right. So this is the city pouch. Black, obviously. And I got this for when I'm traveling and I want just a small bag to keep my uh, passport and other things in. Interesting. So you got a key ring here, a few different compartments, kind of a mesh pocket here, spot for a pen. And a zipped pocket here. And an open pocket in the back. Uh, so this pocket next to the pen pocket, I think that's for the passport, yep. So I'll just wear it like this, uh, likely underneath a jacket or something, so it's not, you know, sticking out. I've not had anything exactly this size, so it'll be nice to try something like this out. This is from Triple Aught Design. They had a sale, and so I got some shirts. It's the Latitude Field shirt in a short sleeve and long sleeve, medium black. Fabric is nice and thin. I got this for traveling when the weather is hot. This material I think will be good for that. There was some concern about these button holes. Uh, some people had gotten some that were pretty frayed. These look all right. Okay, so there's a pocket here that's like a mesh on the inside. 100% nylon and the lining is a 100% polyester. All right, let's try this on. It's a little big. I normally wear medium, sometimes a small. All right, how's it look? It's, no, it's not too big. It's actually it's tight in the chest and the shoulders. That's not good. Basically the same shirt and a long sleeve. Yeah, I'd say the sleeves on this are a little short. All right, so this is a bag that I got used. This is much larger than I expected it to be. So this is the Code of Bell X case. So you can wear it like a backpack or a sling. It expands. Hmm. Interesting. So you got a key leash here, some nice interior. Love that orange. This flap comes up. There's a big mesh pocket underneath here. Looks like the top part here can zip out from the inside. So you can have top access to this pocket here.
So this is closed. Got a small pocket right here. So this is closed, then you can have top access to this pocket through the zipper. Got a small quick access pocket here. And here's our main compartment. So water bottle pocket on the inside, some good organization. So it looks like these straps will detach from the bottom and you can tuck them in. Uh, we've got a water bottle pocket here that zips open for use. Interesting bag. Carry it from the top if you want. All right, interesting. All right, so this is the big one I'm excited about. This is the Phoenix. So Civic panel loader, 24 liter X pack material. There we can see the patch. All right. I don't know why, but this seems smaller than what I was expecting. I mean, I've had a SCPL before from them, but I don't know. Man, this VX42 material just feels great. That is a hot orange. Man. A pocket here. That, that is a cool patch. So we got a side handle, top handle, no water bottle pocket. <laughs> Lots of orange. Oh my gosh. A pocket here, some loops, big mesh pocket. A note from Evergoods. Small top pocket here. Nice small pocket in the top. Decent key clip here for this small pocket. And then on the side, we have access to the laptop compartment. Hmm. It's got a Velcro thing to open that up. That Velcro is going to bother me. It's going to be a pain in the butt. I'll probably just tuck it in. Oh, they've got Velcro that it, it can attach to on the inside in case you're not going to use this, which I am not. That's nice. So I can keep it open. That's good. So the suspended sleeve is inside of here. The very back portion is not suspended at the bottom at all. So you have these loops in the bottom here. You can hang stuff from it, but you can also use it to grip to when you're zipping it up. Then we've also got this uh, access pouch in the same material. Got a spot for patches here. Got a blank orange patch I can stick on there. Little section in the back here with a key clip. Oh, this is the whole top section. Okay. And this opens up all the way. This gives you access to that top section. And then an open area here. Got a divider that will kind of move around on the sides. So you can kind of move, move it to the front or the back as you see fit. Some small pockets in the front here. And then two large pockets in the back. 
and this zips open. You've got two small pockets, or one small pocket on the inside of this. Hmm. Wonder why they didn't do pockets on the sides too. All right, that looks pretty cool. It's really hot. I've got a, a D-Made Bags pouch here that is a similar orange. It's not identical, but I might, I might use it with this backpack. It's slightly lighter orange than what's in here. It looks the same as this pouch I've got, which is a blaze orange. So you got handle on the top and the bottom of this. And it's designed so that when it opens, it's flat on the bottom. So you can just leave it open like this and uh, you know stick it on your desk and have access to all your tech items. Civic Access Pouch 2 liter. It's got VX42 and the interior lining is a 420D nylon. So I think a good spot for this pouch is obviously at the bottom here. Um, it'd be nice to be able to mount it at the top somehow. I don't really see a way to do that though. There's nothing here on the back that you could use to mount it up here, but stick it at the bottom. I've been using this uh, Dan Matsuda pouch. This is a VX21 material. This is VX42. Uh, the size is fairly similar. The Matsuda is a little bit smaller. But other than that, very similar size. And the Matsuda has anchors in the back so you can convert it into a sling if you want. So I've been carrying just some basics with me. My sardine pouch with the Boba Fett pull tie. Got peace and calming oil, a backup mask, a capsule, an extra pen, a deodorant. Band-Aid, uh, lens cleaner, and a handkerchief in the back here. Then I've got a knife, chapstick, cologne, hand sanitizer, gum, some candy in here. Normally keep my mask in the middle. And I've got the Mandalorian pull tie on this one. So I might not use all of these, but uh, I kind of like how this lines up actually. So there you go, some unboxings, and I'll be doing some full reviews of these products in the near future, so you don't wanna miss out on that. If you like this, please click the like button below and subscribe to the channel to check out all of our future reviews. Thanks so much, take care.